There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. So basically, whenever you saw this logo, it chances are it was a brilliant game. And today is no exception. I pick games at random usually. This is not a request. Uh, this was picked at random. And this is Maniac Mansion 2. Or more commonly known as Day of the Tentacle. And as you can see, it's a bit comedic in tone. Look, there's some tentacles. Hmm, I'm thirsty. Talking tentacles. I don't think you should drink that. No, I wouldn't. It looks bad for you. Yes. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. Aggressive tentacles? I feel like I could. Like I could. <laughs> like I could. Like you could what? Take, Take on, on the world. Yeah. And here are some of our wonderful heroes. Look, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. Isn't I that think great? I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. A note? It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that purple <laughs> tentacles mutated into an insane genius. And Dr. Fred's oh, no. going to kill them both! I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. I guess not. But now, I know that I must go... ...back to the mansion! Oh no! So, LucasArts Entertainment presents... And I've already sort of told you what it is. Day of the Tentacle. And we'll just skip the rest of this introduction and okay, get started. Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here <laughs> in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. Yeah. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. That's some tremendous I've walking. I've got a show to set up later tonight. Yeah, dude. If I'm dude. late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? That's a very good question. So let's find out. So, disclaimer, obviously, I've played a little bit of Day of the Tentacle. Just a little bit. Uh, it's a LucasArts adventure game. I've already reviewed a LucasArts adventure game before on here for my Get Off My Lawn series. You should definitely check that out. Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, brilliant game. Uh, this has exactly the same sort of style of gameplay, but is completely different in tone. This is geeky, it's off the wall, crazy, it's uh, mind bending. So uh, let's play as Bernard. Uh, let's wander around and look at things and do things because I can't remember how to do anything. So you've got your action bar here, which gives you, you know, basic commands as to what to do. And uh, it's essentially point and click. So it's all mouse controlled. And uh, this is running on Scum VM, actually, not DOSBox, which is uh, my preferred method of playing these point and click adventure games. Let's look at a flyer. That one looks like it's from a local hardware store. Well, Bernard, let's pick up that flyer then, shall we? Right. We have a flyer. Uh... Mmm, spearmint, my favorite. Ooh, let's pick up some gum. It's stuck to the floor. Oh, Bernard, come on, put a bit of muscle into it. Let's try that again. 
It's stuck to the floor. No, it's not happening for us, Bernard. Let's look at a Chuck the Plant. A horticultural horror. Ach, no, Chuck's not that bad. And you, you, a horticultural horror. You can't talk to Chuck. That's very disappointing. Okay, what else we got here? Neat! A service bell. Let's push the service bell. Ding! Uh, didn't get much service there. Let's open that office door. Anybody in there, no? It looks broken, but there's something in the coin return. Oh. Hey, is that a dime? We have a dime! And there we go. Things are looking up. Let's use the dime with the dime with gum with the dime stuck in. Dimeception. I'd rather not. Oh, Bernard, you're no fun. Hmm, there's something funny about that clock. Something funny, you say? Let's open it up and take a look. Aha! A secret passage. Oh. This is all too easy. Simple enough, then. Uh, unless you brain yourself on the clock. And now, we are hoping. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? <laughs> oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world. Oh, and no. to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Oh, for God's okay, sake, you're Bernard. Free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> well Wait. done, Bernard. Well done. Truly oh, a credit yeah. to your society. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Doy. Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. <laughs> Ew. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Exactly, Bernard. What could possibly Leaping go wrong? The lab rats. Dr. Fred. What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops. Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from uh -huh. entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! To the time machine! And here we go. This is all your fault, Bernard. Yeah, Bernard. The old children! The Chronogon! Da, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive! Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not! This is the first time I've ever tried it on people! Right, so we're being sent through time using the Chrono Johns. Well, I'll be. And away we go into the Bernard, magic. Float over here so I can beyond. punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. E equals MC squared. What could it all mean? A black I don't cat. know. I don't want to know. A nurse? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It works. I can't believe it. And they said imitation diamond wasn't good enough. Oh, dear. Uh Oh. We. <laughs> oh, I like that he's surfing. Yes. Tremendous. Right. We have landed. Nice landing, Hoagie.
beautiful landing lever. And finally, nobody. Oh no, wait. There's Bernard. Beautifully done. Cheap mail order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Whoops. Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? You're going to go find the plans. I think I made myself perfectly clear. Yes, Step Bernard. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. So that was an enormous cutscene, but unlike previous games I played with lengthy cutscenes that you know are just awful. Oh, lovely Bernard, thank you. Picking his nose while he waits for me to do something. Uh, that was intensely entertaining. Like you, you probably noticed I was pretty much quiet for all that. Maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Okay. Upstairs. That's that's a bit of a hint, isn't it? Upstairs. Hey, a lever. There, it's off. But it's too late now. It's back on now. There, it's off. But it's too late now. It looks like a generator driven by a treadmill. Hmm. Is there anything else down here that could potentially help? I guess not. It can't do anything without a new diamond. So, the game has already quite explicitly said, look, the plans are upstairs somewhere. So, we shall walk to upstairs. And the, the menu is context sensitive. So, like, if you, you if you click Dr. on something, Frank? then uh, Bernard will do something like, look at payphone. Out of order. Or if you go over there, it sort of it sort of hovers over. You'll see it in the menu. Look at, look at, look at, and then there's open for the door and such. You know, so you can right click your way through, and he'll do various actions. Neat, like looking at stairs and saying neat. The plans, the plans. Oh, an ice machine. It's pretty darn cold. Let's open it up. It's pretty darn cold. It's pretty darn cold. I guess that's all he's going to say on the matter. Oh, some fella is randomly sleeping. This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be Let's yours today. Let's wander into somebody's room and turn on the television. <laughs> price of $2 million. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Absolutely. Um, let's look at the phone. Sleek design, sturdy construction, attractive housing, all in all a fine phone. <laughs> like, what other game would put that much effort into just looking at a phone? It doesn't seem to open. Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? I have an ATM card. Apparently that wasn't good enough. When I got it, it seemed so useful. <laughs> Hi there. That's, that's great, Bernard. Um, I don't think I can pick that up. 
Now there's a heavy sleeper. Ha <laughs> ha! A heavy sleeper. <laughs> I can't pick it up. That guy is lying on it. Look at Fickle Fingers coin slot. Up too late? Ooh, Try a Fickle Fingers off. fate. Stick in a dime and you'll have a good time. Well, you know what? We have a dime, don't we, folks? So use dime. Oh, use dime with Fickle Fingers coin slot. And away we go. Uh, <laughs> that did not do much, did it? Oh, well. There's probably some explanation for that. Maybe it activated something upstairs. Who knows? Let's leave this room. Let's head. Oh, we could have used the dime in the candy machine. Mmm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. Oh, well. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. Oh dear. His novelty inventing career has backfired mm. on him. I can't even do this right. Let's talk to this dude. And as you can see here, this is the bit I haven't spoken about. You've got your, uh, your menu where Bernard can say things to people. And it's like... Uh, it's kind of like your sort of RPG menu, you know, with branching dialogue, except not quite. It's close. Gee, you look depressed. <laughs> what clued you in, Brainiac? The gun was a good tip-off. I'm having a crisis here, a warehouse of anguish. I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. I've come up with some fabulous ideas. The exploding lollipop, itching powder gum, and reverse 3D glasses, to name a few. The problem is, no one likes my designs. Oh, no. I send them all over the world and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Whoa, whoa, is me. You haven't seen any plans for a super battery around, have you? Super battery? Eh, that sounds even worse than the things I come up with. Okay. Never mind. We'll leave him alone for now. Because this is this is something I'd like to point out, uh with regards to this style of game and uh, you know, talking about it in general. The dialogue in Day of the Tentacle is so good that I just wanna sit and listen to it. Do you know what I mean? I I don't I don't feel like interrupting by talking over the top of it all the time, you know? Games like this can sort of just sell themselves, you know. You don't need me to, you know, rant and rave over a microphone and say to you, My goodness, guys, check out Day of the Tentacle, this underrated gem, because it's not. Day of the Tentacle is widely regarded as one of, if not the best, point-and-click adventure games ever created. It is like the pinnacle of the genre, you know? So having me play it and be like, Oh, I played it at random. I wonder if it's good is entirely, you know, pointless. I haven't even gone back in time as one of the other characters or anything. Um, Double Fine have done a beautiful remaster of this, available on Steam. Uh, if you like the tone, if you like the sort of quirkiness and the, the brilliant writing, uh, and you have any interest in point-and-click games whatsoever, then you're doing yourself a disservice if you don't play this. I'm going to wrap this up now because I've spent far too long just messing around, and... Uh, yeah, I do more stupid videos like this. Uh, feel free to watch them. Bye-bye.